Today we're going to be replacing the blower motor resistor on this 2006 Ford Fusion. Now we've already gone through the diagnostic process to verify that the control inputs to the blower motor resistor are good. As you can see we've got laid out here also an electrical connector for the blower motor resistor itself and a new blower motor. Now this is just good practice when replacing either the blower motor or the blower motor resistor the complementary component should be replaced at the same time. These are items that very closely correlate to each other and if we don't replace them at the same time could lead to either a misdiagnosis or an early repeat failure here. One other thing to keep in mind, some vehicles do have a cabin air filter. This one does not. If it did, we would want to go in and replace that cabin air filter as well. When we remove the existing blower motor and blower motor resistor, we're going to inspect for any debris or water that could certainly inhibit the performance of the new components. So that being said, let's go under the dash and start removing the old stuff. So as we look at our new blower motor resistor here, you'll see on one side there's just one hole for a retainer, and then there's some tabs on the other side. So it's going to be pretty straightforward. I'm going to go underneath the dash, I'm going to release the electrical connector, I'm going to remove this one screw, I'll slide it over and drop it out of the hole. All right, well now that we've got the electrical connector unplugged and moved out of our way here, I'm going to take my six millimeter swivel socket with an extension and a quarter inch ratchet and remove the one screw holding this in place. Okay, well now that I got the screw out of here, now there's two little locking tabs on the same side as the screw, one on either side of the screw. And so I need to depress those. So try and get it with my finger nail here or a pocket screwdriver. Or in this case, I'll even use a little bit of a pick to kind of press those in towards the resistor. And then kind of use that to pry and pull, pull this out of here a little bit as well. Here. So as I release those two clips on this side, now there's those two tabs where it's shoved into the housing there. And we can see as I remove this, it's pretty well gummed up and got quite a bit of corrosion or some other debris on here. So the connector looks okay. It'd be a good practice yet to go ahead and install a new connector, especially since we have one here. But we also need to go a little further inside the box here and look for additional signs of that type of debris. Make sure we're not going to contaminate our new one. And we'll also replace the blower motor while we're in here. Right, so now I've got my new blower motor resistor. Now bear in mind, this is for a vehicle that has automatic temperature control. Some of the base model fusions that have a manual control, might have a different looking resistor. Uh, the process is very similar for that one, but this is uh, what the resistor looks like with a vehicle that has automatic temp control. You know, this has got more of a module with some of these aluminum heat sinks. So really I'm just gonna line up my tabs here and we'll snap it in place. It clips up there. Now I can just take my screw I'll use my same ratchet, socket, and extension. And we'll get the screw installed in place. Once that's done, I'm going to take my wiring. You can see it's pretty good, nice tight fit in the connection here. But again, best practice, replace it. We're going to make the electrical connection here, lock it in place, get that good firm clip there, replace the blower motor, and then we'll verify that the system works as intended. Hopefully you know you have a better understanding of what it takes to replace the blower motor resistor on a 2006 Ford Fusion with automatic temperature control.